Hi, myself Sagar Patel. I am a CEO and founder of UI Kemi. We are powering 300k plus WordPress websites using our 5 plus WordPress products, and we are in industry from last 11 plus years. We are using WordPress and Figma from many years, as both products evolved, and we discovered by connecting both the ecosystems, we can save. millions of human hours and that's where we have plan for ui kemi ui kemi converts your figma design into wordpress websites in a wordpress we are supporting elementor next up blocks for gutenberg ecosystem bricks page builder on top of that we are working on spectra generate blocks also in a gutenberg core blocks all those are in a beta for now and those will be released very soon without wasting a further time let's jump into the demo when you start your figma to wordpress journey you will have multiple ways you can start from scratch you can start using ready made templates from envato elements from w design kits figma templates on top of that if you are someone who loves to try ai in that case you can use power of figma ai you can use relum ai you can use muso ai and there are lots more upcoming ai models coming for the figma on top of that you are someone who always love to go with the design systems in figma those who will love to use ui kit like sprout ui you can use untitled ui and so on so for all those ways we are having a different steps to start with In this quick demo I will show you how you can use a sprout UI or you can start designing from the scratch as well in your Figma and how you can convert your Figma design to your WordPress website. So let's start the demo of UI Kemi. So in this demo I will start from the beginning. First of all you need to go to uikemi.com pricing and from pricing page you will get options to choose your free pro and all access plan in this case like let's go with the free plan or you can go with the pro plan here you just need to select which page builder you want to select so here i am going with the elementor one and i am going with the start free now once you will start free you just need to add your details you need to sign up and that's it you just need to download once you download that you will get an access and from store.posimit.com dash dashboard you will get a key now what you need to do is you need to search ui kemi in figma community now i am opening my figma app let me go to figma here i already have that plugin so i am opening that so once you will open it will ask for an activation key that you just need to copy from your dashboard and paste it over here and let's do activate once you will activate you will have two options either you can go with our guided option where you will be onboarded with our multiple options and if you are a first time user highly recommend you to go with this uh, option and if you already know about ui kemi you can choose second option in this case let's keep now here this is the first screen where you will see all the settings related to convert here you can see the templates in a template you will have all the general templates then you will have a sprout ui templates which are the filterable as well on top of that we are having some suggestions for other page kits for this demo let's go with this template and this template you can simply click and you can import that as well right so you can see our template is imported from here now let's go back to convert part you can select your template so let's do a select page and here you can select one or the multiple if you are having but for in this case we are going with the one let's confirm let's go back okay now here you are getting two options one will be optimize and convert and another will be express convert in express convert if you are a pro ui cam user and if you want to save your time even more in that case you can go with the express convert here in express convert you will directly having all the important settings 
but if you are a first time user let's go for a optimize and convert method and that is most recommended if you are a first time user so when you click on optimize and convert here you will have five different options one will be optimization companion so let's jump into this optimization companion this is the most advanced optimization companion we made for the figma designs here we have divided this in various parts from media optimization frames optimizations and so on so this is the algorithm we made to help you optimize your design for better conversion now we are checking multiple things for example here you can see it's recommending for like lock multi layer media now you will have two options either you can fix by clicking over here you can click here just to view which frame it's recommending on top of that you can either ignore all or you can fix them uh, in this case we are ignoring for now just for a demo purpose on top of that you can see the video tutorial about this feature or this tool by clicking over here so let's ignore for now and as you can see like we are checking multiple things for these templates here we also have made a heat map for the images you can see all the images will be visible here uh, the main purpose of this heat map is if your design having multiple images or so many images in the your template then you can lock them as well so for example if you are having lots of images out here then what you need to do is you just need to lock this layer and if you lock the any of the layers then what what it will do is it will convert the whole group of images or the frames into one frame so that way you can save you know or you can use uh, this lock feature for your complex designs as well but now let's mark as done and let's go forward here you can see like we are checking more things and it will keep on going and it will you know checking all those features for example negative grab gaps in frame and if anything it will found it will show over here and we are having a separate videos for each of them so you can check it out all the features more on that part now here let's do save and go back because we have optimized the whole design now here this is the feature to tag your widgets for example in your elementor site yeah and you want to tag your buttons as a button widget in elementor in that case you can use this widget tagging and let me show you there, there is a widgets from the elementor there is a widget from elementor pro there is widget from the plus widgets as well so you can simply tag them for tagging what you need to do is you just need to go over here let's tag this as a button okay uh, actually this is our template so we already have tagged that as a button but what you need to do is you just need to reach that part over here and you just need to drag and drop or you just need to click over here to tag that as a button right so here in this case we already have tagged as a button let's clear it out and now let's click that as a button so you can see we are asking for a text we can ask for an icon and link and so on so these values you can set and when you will import that in elementor it will be imported as a button widget now let's check a responsive manager so in a responsive manager we are having two options uh, one is recommended second is custom so as name suggest we always uh, prefer to go with the recommended but if you are using any you know ui design kit or any design systems then you can go with the custom as well in a custom you can set all your font sizes and their value for the tablet and mobile devices on top of that for the elementor we are having multiple breakpoint support as well right so you can select more breakpoints out there and it will be available over here even you can import export those settings we are also having settings for line height padding flex cap and so on right but in this case let's go with the recommended then there is a conversion settings now in a conversion settings there is option like export without images so in your case like if you are having lots of heavy images or if you doesn't want to import any images 
then you can enable this option on top of that we are having an option for use figma's exported images in this option you can enable that and you can decrease or increase your scale of images right with using this option then we are also having option for automatic fine svgs then there will be option for width in percentage and we are also having option to tag as a text editor if there is a number of words are more than 10 even you can change this value as well so let's keep that 10 for now now let's go back so we came to the most important part which is global styles because many of you and even we are using global styles everywhere in your elementor side also in all page builders right so you can sync your global style with from your figma to your elementor setup so let's click over here here you just need to add a site to sync that so let's add a site also i need to mention for example if you are converting this without the global styles and if you are selecting a live import even at that part or you need to connect your site to import this figma design into your wordpress setup so if you will connect that site it can be used for your global colors as well as this live import process Here you can see like you just need to install a WordPress plugin for UI Kemi and you need to get the security token URL and token. So let's jump into so this is the plugin you need to install. We already have installed that plugin on our setup. So what you just need to do is get a security token and you just need to copy and let's copy security token as well that's it connect okay so that's connected also you can see the dot over here it's uh, green that means it's connected and it have fetched all the global colors from your elementor setup to over here right you can see the global colors and everything global colors global typography and so on but if you want to add uh, edit something then you can also do that from here for example, you can click over here. You can see if you're having any styles in your setup or if, or if you are having any document color from your setup, you can grab those from here, right? But in this case, we already have set up those global colors and global typography. So everything is well set up. So you doesn't need to do anything. Uh, it will be automatically synced when you will import this, right? So let's go back, let's convert you can download this page in a json and import on your setup as well but in this demo we are going with the live import so let's go with the live import here again it will be green once it will be connected so let's wait for a minute let's select again okay it's green that means it's connected now you can import that as a page as an elemental template or if you are having a next theme then it will be imported in the next template as well uh, so in this case let's go with the elementor template here you can select that as a standard template also you can select that as a header footer and so on but that required you to have elementor pro installed but here in this case let's go with the standard template even you can set up that as existing by replacing or add on to your existing pages or the template but in this case we are going with the new let's go with the next and here we can import you can see the process is started to importing and it will import all the data from your all the you know widgets your images and everything so everything will be imported that on your site so this is the page and you can see it's imported as it is as you can see in your figma design you can see also you can edit that with elementor as well you can see like your image is imported your text your buttons and everything is imported over here also everything is editable in elementor so let's jump into the elementor part as well okay so this is imported now you can see this is made from image widget you can see it over here this is from the heading this is from the container this is the button which we have already tagged uh, this one we have tagged but we have changed that 
and you can see this is made from the button widget on top of that this is the heading even your different tags your settings and everything will be imported over here from the figma file also the things will be in a global color setups as well if your global color styles were matched so this is the thing and this is the most basic layout hope this demo have helped you improve your figma to wordpress workflow and this is just a start just subscribe to our channel as we are having more videos coming up to educate you more for this tool thanks for watching and stay tuned